It's good to see you all today. Um, today I wanted to talk about actually the feast for yesterday. Yesterday was the feast of the archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. And um, in particular, I want to talk to talk about one of the three. But for the purpose of um, greater explanation, you know, angels have names. Uh, I read in, in the office of readings actually yesterday that angels' names don't denote nature, but but action. I think this is how he put it. Uh, the idea that their their names or what what the names that we've been given to identify them. Um, point them, point us to what they did, you know. So Raphael means God's remedy, right? Uh, and you see him in the book of Tobit in the Old Testament. He healed Tobiah of his blindness. Um, Gabriel means God's strength or the strength of God. Um, it's because, and as as was explained in the in the office, I'm not, I'm not, I forget which pope or saint did the reading. I don't have it in front of me. It's uh, the, to, sh- to show God's strength through the incarnation, you know, and, and, and the various ways that Gabriel has appeared in Scripture is always to show the strength of God. But the one I want to talk about today is one who is of the utmost importance in our lives. Not that the other two aren't important, but this one in the particular role that he has is, particular, is very important, um, especially in this time we find ourselves where um, evil is more visible and and we can wrap our mind around evil and, and the spiritual combat that we are in and a more it's easier to define or easier to see um, today I want to talk about St. Michael St. Michael his name means who is like to God or who can compare with God because when the angels were given the test, right, because um, they too were given a choice to, to serve God or not, Lucifer, who is the highest, one of the highest ranked angels, is Satan, um, also called Lucifer. Lucifer means light bearer, which was his angelic name. That's what he was. He was the light bearer, and he chose not to follow God. He chose himself. He chose to be in his pride, you know. He thought he could be better than God, or he was appalled at the idea that God would lower himself, you know, to, be, to take the form of a slave, you know, take on our humanity. Because we don't exactly know what the test was, but we believe that it, it could be, a tradition says that it, it very possible it could have been a glimpse of the incarnation. You know, that's just pious tradition. So, there's nothing in Scripture to identify that, as far as I know. Scripture scholars, if there is something in there, I'll defer to you. Um... But when Michael was asked that question, and mind you, Michael is an archangel. Archangel, we believe, are on the lower end of the of the choirs of angels. That was his response. His name was his response. Who can compare with God? Who is like God? Of course, I will serve Him. Absolutely. And as a reward, we see in the Book of Revelation. He ain't Michael and his armies, right? He was made the leader of the armies of heaven. And how often in those those pictures of Saint Michael do we see him slaying the dragon? The dragon being Satan. Because his humility became a means of grace, just as Satan's humility, lack of humility or pride and envy became a means of sin for the world. But one of the, the lines, actually, I do remember what the line I was going to say, and I can't remember. It was a very potent line, actually, that from, from the, the, the passage that you read in the Office of Readings, um, and I'll, I'll quote it in the comments, but um, it says, you know, Satan is sent down to the earth, you know, cast down to the earth to oppress the earth, but his time is limited. And that is of the utmost importance to realize. Satan's time is limited. But God has given us Michael to defend us. That's why we've been praying at the end of the chapel, we pray St. Michael prayer. 
St. Michael prayer was written by um, Pope Leo the, the 13th because he saw a vision of Satan and, and, and Jesus having a conversation you know, at the turn of the, the century. He said the 21st century, the 20th century is, is going to be, 21st century is going to be a bloody, uh, 20th, whatever we just came out of, the century we just came out of with World War II and one, and all the wars that happened that, that century. It's going to be a bloody, bloody battle. It's going to, I could destroy the world, right? And, and Jesus said, go ahead and try, <laughs> right? And that's when we started praying the St. Michael prayer at the end of Mass. So if you've ever been, I've been adding those in, I, I encourage you, um, I've been praying, we've been praying that at the end, after communion in my churches, um, St. Andrew, St. Francis. Um, I would encourage you to, if you aren't already, to pray the St. Michael prayer in your own devotion, in your own life, with your own family. That's something that we always prayed growing up, my mom and I. Something that I pray every night before I go to bed. Every, every, after every rosary, every, after every chaplet, I pray. that's why I pray the St. Michael prayer, to defend us in battle, because Satan's time is limited. He knows he's on a deadline. He's not going to have his power, any power that he has, it's, it's, it's not going to be around forever. Um, because Christ is won. Christ is already won. Christ doesn't lose, right? He doesn't lose. Um, but we... In, in that, before we come to that final judgment, that final end, we need to be vigilant in our fight, to be powerhouses of prayer, um, and to pray, especially for St. Michael, to defend us from the spirit of discord, the spirit of division, the spirit of disunity. Satan is trying to divide us as Catholics, as Christians, but especially as Catholic Christians, trying to divide us and and. and cause us to bicker and argue about the things that, of this world and lose sight of the mission, lose sight of the goal, the mission to, to, to become saints, the mission to, to redeem, to be instruments of God's redemption in the world, right? That's our mission. We are soldiers in battle against Satan. And whether you like that image or not doesn't change the reality of that we are at war. We are at war with evil. But our God is the commander of a conquering army. A conquering army, an unstoppable army. St. Michael and his, his army of angels are unstoppable. But we have to let them fight for us and receive that strength to fight alongside them. Not just to let them fight for us, but to participate through our penance, through our fasting, through our prayers, through engaging in the sacraments of reconciliation in the Eucharist. Those are all ways in which we not only um, equip ourselves, but also fight against evil. To put aside, you know, disagreements, you know, about, about politics or or this or that or masks or blah 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 I'm not even going to name all the things that we bicker and argue about as humans because they're not worth the breath let us come together on what we know to be true Christ has come to save us and he has called us to holiness and that we are to defend life at, at all stages and in every moment, we are called to be defenders, to be, show dignity and love, even when we do not receive that dignity and love back. So, in the spirit of that, that love of God, in the spirit of that ar arming ourselves, for the battle that is that we are in, in and the battle that we will fight with the Lord, with the angels, the battle that is already won, it's just a matter of getting to the end of it. Uh, let us turn to our Lord and pray. Pray that the blood of the Lamb may pour on this nation, on this world, may pour upon our church, 
may pour upon all those, all of us, who need deeper conversion, that we can be open to those graces, and each and every one of us can become saints. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. For the conversion of all, for the renewal of our church, our, our families, our homes, our communities, for protection against evil, for the strength to fight against evil at, at all mo in all moments, at all costs, through our holiness, through our love and charity, through our fasting, penance, and prayer for greater submission, for a perfect submission to God's will in all things, healing in our nation, in our families, in our church, for unity among all Christians, especially within the Catholic Church itself. For all those intentions we now offer to you, for all those that we love, for all those we are concerned about, that we may surrender our will all that we, we are and have to you, Lord, trusting that you will provide for us. You expired, Jesus, the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. The font of life and fathom of divine mercy enveloped the whole world and emptied yourself upon us. The blood and water which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us 
and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is in us, and the treasure of comp compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor, we, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle and be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
O most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Mary conceived without sin, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. Andrew, St. Francis Xavier, and all our patron saints, pray for us. Father Cape and all the angels and saints in heaven, pray for us. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me this afternoon for our reflection and praying in the chaplet. A couple of people have com communicated to me that um, sometimes it's hard to hear. I mean, when I'm inside, it's, it's one thing, but when if I'm out here on the back deck, sometimes it's hard to hear. If you could let me know, let me know in the comments, you know, um, on any particular videos, especially if you can hear me, if you have trouble hearing me, because uh, I, I, I might have a microphone that I could wear. Um, to make it easier uh, to hear me, especially I know when sometimes cars will go by and stuff like that. And <laughs> that one, and the last time when they're they're mowing or something like that. So let me know, uh, give me some feedback there, uh, so that I can, if I mean, um, in the event that I could make it easier for you to hear me um, and pray with me, um, I can do that. I can find a way. So um, with that, love you much. Um, praying for you, keep praying for me, for one another, for our world, our nation, um, and our church. Um, God bless you, and I will see you on the next video.